The node agent has a very critical role in conjunction with the application server and the deployment manager. So the node agent is a separate process, a separate JVM component piece that's going to be running on each physical box. On those particular physical boxes, one of its roles is going to be the file synchronization process. So as administrative service in the node agent, it does file synchronization with the deployment manager, always maintains synchronization of its configuration information. In addition to that, it also has a file transfer process management process that's running on the node agent side as well. So the file transfer is the movement of the information, the movement of the data, configuration information from the deployment side, the master configuration set over into the local JVM. And then the process management side is going to be actually administering and managing the application server JVM that's going to be running on that particular physical box. Inside that application server JVM, we're going to have a series of services that are running as far as the administrative process. Each one of these particular services is running under Java Management Extension, or JMX. A little bit later on in this particular course, we're going to be talking about the role that JMX actually has and how it's utilized in the application server administration process. What JMS is using is something called an MBean or a management bean. And the MBean is basically a small program that's going to be sitting in front of all of the configurable processes running inside the, the application server itself. So these MBeans, you might think of small mini programs that we're going to be able to talk to. We'll be talking more about that a little bit later on. In addition to the MBean process, we have configuration services, we have application installation processes, and we also have the management and manipulation of the configuration repository on the application server JVM itself. In addition to that, of course, we have all of our customer base and enterprise applications running on this particular physical box. We have the administrative console process with its workspace component piece. Now, in a, in a network deployment environment, the administrative console process on this particular JVM wouldn't be disabled. We'd be doing all the management strictly from the deployment manager side. Also inside of here, of course, is going to be the runtime environment, the J2E runtime piece. Underneath that will be a workspace component for each individual user and also a master repository. Now, again, if we're running the ND variation, the workspace piece would be managed by the deployment manager and there would be no master repository. He wouldn't have it be a repository. It would not be a master set. Uh, it would have the configurable information just for this particular application server. 